now we'll start with motion in a plane if the body is moving not in a straight line till now it's moving along a straight line now no more it is moving in a straight line the body has started moving in a plane if the body starts moving in a plane if the body starts moving in a plane let us say i'm seeing the top view of a car is going somewhere it's going in some fashion like that so it started going like this now i want to analyze the motion of the car now i want to analyze that motion of the car how to solve this 2d problem right so there are two methods to solve this the first method has been introduced by newton and that is the method which we use for all our general problems later euler has introduced one more method because at certain case of problems at particular problems it became difficult to analyze this method with this method so why what i will explain in the starting of circular motion there what is that method used by him and all for the time being we'll see with the newton's method the first method introduced by newton so shall we see what newton did huh so he has borrowed the cartesian coordinate system developed by euclid euclid has well well before newton right the car uh, was this euclid this fellow this fellow has introduced the cartesian coordinate system a beautiful system to define space see in space i want to mark some points i cannot say ha huh, there suppose if suppose in the room i can say ha huh, there is a light there is a board all these things you can say but if i want to give mathematically locate a point mathematically in space how to do that that method is a simple and beautiful way of representing space has been done by this euclid by using the method cartesian coordinate system what is this cartesian coordinate system he has given coordinates for each and every point in space he has given coordinates for each and every point in space and why it is called cartesian so where have you seen this word cart where have you seen this word cart c a r t cart ha huh. and every day you will be using now also the sale is going on flip cart bullock cart horse cart what is this cart even in amazon or wherever you see they'll say keep in the cart what do you mean by cart <coughs> maybe flip cart is using k a r t but cart means box the meaning of this is box what's the meaning of that see <laughs> in space if i want to define space let us say select one point your wish wherever you want to sit and analyze it wherever you want to sit and analyze it select that point and call that as your origin let us say this is our origin so we'll make our good friend who is our good friend ramu bhaiya ask him to sit here and we call it as origin now i want to represent a point in space i want to represent a point in space now what he told is what he told is <coughs> whatever the point you want to represent in space make it as one corner of the box what is the meaning of it see here let me construct a box because after marking the point we cannot make it suppose let us say let us say i want to represent see this is my origin where i am sitting let us say o i want to i want to represent a point some random points and you take and construct the box because after taking p it will be very difficult for me so i have taken it in the first see for anyway if this is the point you take it now construct the q construct the box p construct the box p so that it will be exactly on the diagonally opposite corner if it is in the same plane it will be on one of the corner it will be on one of the corner now what he told is wherever you are sitting the corner wherever you are sitting there are three edges passing through this there are three edges passing through that corner he call them as those three edges as three axes three mutually perpendicular axes three mutually perpendicular axes x y see they follow right hand thumb rule sir if this is x and this is y x and y this is z axis you cannot take this as z axis they obey the right hand thumb rule z he told if this is the origin the three perpendicular edges in the corner as three mutually perpendicular they call them as axis he call them as axis this is origin and this is the axis one is axis or axis coordinate axis the exact name is what coordinate axis coordinate axis 
right now what he told now <clears throat> if you want to go to the box if you want to go to the box now what he told this box get the dimensions of this box whatever is the box you got get the dimensions of it let us say length is l breadth is b and height is h height is h so he go he has gone in an order x y and z so the length of the dimensions of the box the dimensions of the box that is along x axis you have length so l next is y along the y axis you have height h along z axis you have breadth b these are the coordinates of the point p l comma h comma b what is the meaning of that l comma h comma b suppose let us say this is 5 this is some 4 and this is 3 what is the meaning of that is first one l that represents x coordinate that means x coordinate is 5 that means along the x axis from the origin from the origin you start walking from the origin you start walking you start walking along the x axis go that many units how many units this units 5 5 units now along the y axis anything first anything second i don't know suppose let us say i want to go with the z along the z axis how many units are there three units go three units now along the y axis how many units are there four units you will reach the point you are getting me i think ah uh, sir first i will go along the z okay fine along the z axis this represents x axis y axis z axis along z axis go three units from there along x axis how many five units from there four units at first i'm going by go four then again five so you go that many units of distance whatever is there along those corresponding axes from your origin wherever you are there you will reach that point that's how he beautifully represented every point in space every point in space you view the three coordinates you walk that much distance along those you will reach that point mathematically beautifully he made he represented space that means if you ask me what is the sun let us say one coordinate is equal to one kilometer then you sit on the earth you mark it then you will get the coordinates of it that means it is at this location like that he has mathematically given or you say you take a room let us say this is the room you sit in this corner and call it as origin the three edges are nothing but the three axes suppose let us say there is some light in the room at what get the you just make a box not physically virtually make a box get the dimensions of it now walk that much distance you will reach that light so you cannot say sir uh, just below the roof above the ground some this distance no it's, you can exactly give the locations by this method so this is the beautiful method developed by whom euclid euclid has developed this beautiful method cartesian coordinate system so what newton did what newton did is he has borrowed this he has borrowed this cartesian coordinate system from euclid and used it to develop the vector algebra to develop the vector algebra and analyze this 2d motion shall we see what he did all of you ready listen carefully sir if you are not following me at the sea i am explaining each and every maths required everything keeping zero as your level if there are some guys who know it's fine they are please be patient i'm very sorry for you <coughs> but those who are not there i'm explaining each and every concept please listen to me carefully the reason why i'm taking every term carefully is that when i go for higher concepts you should be very clear i don't want to jump that's why i'm explaining every bit here so be patient follow me all of you sit proper sit proper listen here ha. now please all of you hear what he told wherever you want to sit and analyze the motion wherever you want to sit and analyze the motion so i call my friend he want to sit there right call that as your origin call it as your origin and take sir if it is a 3d space i have taken three mutually perpendicular axes x y and z but now here i am having only 2d plane motion 2d plane motion so 2d so two are sufficient i'll take x and y coordinate axis so so this is my car it's going on that path now that is my origin reference point or origin where i am sitting and analyzing the motion and i have taken two 
reference axis x and y as it is a plane motion two axes are sufficient for me so i've taken two reference axis x and y now the car is going in this path the car is going in this path so i will take a random position on this motion i'll take some random position and start the analysis so that wherever i want i can get it okay so randomly i'm taking a car at this point now from euclid geometry from cartesian coordinate system what can i say if this is at this point construct the box construct the box i'm not completing constructing the complete box i will go only with the two axes if you want fill the box also if you want fill the box also if you want fill the box also this is the box the third dimension because it's not 3d it is 2d the third dimension will become zero so x and y so this is the length this is the breadth now the coordinates of the point p will become how much x comma y x comma y so it's moving in a plane like this how to represent where is the location x this is the value of 2 comma 4 4 what is this let us say this is 2 comma 2 now it has moved like this 3 comma 2 now y coordinate is increasing let us say 4 comma 3 5 comma 5 6 comma 5 like that every point has its own coordinates so randomly i have taken at one point and i am saying x comma y till here whatever is there he has taken from euclid right now what newton did i just don't want coordinate geometry i want to apply my vector calculus that's why he has introduced a new term displacement right he want to get the position vector of it what do you mean the position vector if this is the reference point this is the what's this my object location the shortest distance connecting it that is nothing but the position vector right so to mathematically define that position vector he has first introduced two unique vectors they are called i cap and j cap if there is a third axis there is one more that is k cap i cap j cap k cap i cap is along x axis j cap is along y axis and k is along z axis so introduce two unit vectors i cap and j cap are unit vectors along x and y axis respectively i cap and j cap are unit vectors along x and y axis respectively so along x axis have taken i cap along y axis have taken z cap now how to represent this point how to represent this point so this is my unit vector this is my, sorry this is my position vector this is my position vector o p bar position of p or position of the car that is p with respect to o that is what o p bar and i am representing with the letter s bar position vector s bar that's the terminology which we have already introduced right so <coughs> so position vectors are always see this is the object this is the reference if you if you if you if you take in this fashion this is always the object this is the reference we read it as we read it as position p with respect to o position p with respect to o if suppose there is a b position b with respect to a b is the object a is the reference b is the object a is the reference right so position p Huh. Position P with respect to O. This is a position vector OP bar, which is equal to S bar. Now, I have introduced this position vector. I have introduced this position vector. In the previous class, I have just taken S bar. Differentiate, you will get velocity. That's what, that's what I have told. But I didn't say, what is this position vector? Now, Newton has defined this position vector. What he told is, now, this is my reference point origin. From here, I have to go there. Now, what he told is, I have two unit vectors, I cap, J cap. So, along my first unit vector i cap how much distance x distance go x units along the i cap direction then go y units along the which direction j cap direction go y units along the j cap direction from my origin reference point go x units along i cap direction y units along j cap direction sir why i will do this first go y units along j cap direction and x units along i cap direction no problem but generally we go with x y j sorry x y and z so i cap j cap and k cap so x units along i cap y units along j cap so finally we got the position vector op bar is equal to huh x i cab what's the meaning of this x i cab go x units in the direction of i cab plus y j cab from there go y units in the direction of j cab from the reference you will reach the position point so let us say it is 5 comma 6 if this point is 5 comma 6 so what's the vector going to be for example i will say this is 5 comma 6 
So what's the vector going to be? 5i cap plus 6j cap. So what's the meaning of that 5i cap plus 6j cap? Go 5 units in i cap direction, then 6 units in j cap direction. From origin, you will reach your point. That's how he got beautifully the position vector x i cap plus y j cap. It appears very small, sir, but it has done wonders in the history of science. This is the origin you, will, you are reading today vector calculus that much big vector calculus everything has originated from this small concept here right and Euler has introduced the biggest concept of complex numbers right so from the small requirement to study this analysis physics see maths is not a separate subject sir it is a tool it is a tool used to like you use your knife to cut vegetables are your comb to i don't have hair comb your hair it's a tool to solve the physics i mean to solve the real problem of nature maths is a tool to do that job right so <coughs> he introduced a beautiful concept of what unit vector i cap and j cap along x and y axis and he introduces the position vector s bar is equal to x i cap and y j cap now shall we see what is this position vector going to do as the job are you ready hope you have gained some knowledge from my lecture if you feel so please subscribe to the channel please leave your valuable feedback and doubts in the comment section for my complete video lecture series enroll in octomy thank you let's catch you soon in octomy have a good day